welcome back. Here you can see flora that has been automatically placed on the terrain. Flora are just models of bits of grass and flowers and things, and they're associated with a ground texture. So wherever you paint that texture, the flora objects appear. So what I'm going to do is show you how I've associated different flora with different textures. I'll paint some clovers here, and you can see some small yellow and red flowers appearing in different places, and the flora will regenerate. And you can see over there I used a different texture where I've got some red flowers and another texture here to add some sort of dried up grass texture. Now I could go through the whole place and do that manually, but rather than do that I'm going to use our noise function. We can change the noise frequency and that is like an, a mask that gets overlaid over the terrain. And what I'm going to do is prevent that mask from painting on the cliffs by selecting the cliff mask that we used before for the terrain heights, but this time I'm going to invert it. So now you can see the white areas are the lowland, and that's where our floor is going to be painted. So let's paint that variation. There you can see the little spotty lighter green bits. And I'll just go ahead and do that in all the nooks and crannies everywhere. Now I'll do that with the uh, drier grass texture and I'll change the seeds on the noise so I'm not painting over the exact same spot. Let's make it a little bit softer as well. Okay, and this time I'm going to do some of those red flowers that we saw before. And we really don't want many of those, so I'm going to make this quite a, a dark mask in very few areas. Now let's fly down to the ground. And take a look at what we've got. Right there you can see we've got a lot of variation now in the flora. It's being placed everywhere. This is a great way to just add that critical density that you need to the space. 